Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll try to see how the floor plan has been made for this particular building, right? So you can see all these uh, plans which has been put up here, right? So all these are the architectural plan. Before we start with any construction work, we are supposed to give a plan, right? Like let us say you want to do a home construction. So and let us say you are doing a three BHK home. Three BHK stand for three bedroom, uh, B stand for bathroom, and H stand for hall, right? So you need to know where exactly is your bathroom, where exactly is your kitchen, what is the dimension of your rooms, right? So we give an AutoCAD plan to that, which we call it as an architectural plan. So we'll start with this now. We have a proposed ground floor, then we have a first floor. So it's a G plus one. We have a ground floor and you have a first floor. Then they are going to give you the entire section, and this is the entire plot where you have and where the construction should happen. And these are your front elevation, the right side elevation, the left side elevation, and all other activities, right? So we'll start with this now. Okay. So before that, whenever you give any drawings, no, you are, you are supposed to uh, mention all these things like what is the size of your door, what is the size of your windows, and all. So right now, I'll get into this part first. I'll explain you about the plot, and then I'll come to this part, right? Yeah. So now this is my entire plot. If you see it here. So this is my entire plot what I have. Yeah, this is the entire site what I have. Okay, this is a site what I have. And then what is the dimension of the site? It is given here, which is 9.14. And this comes out to be 12.19. Okay. And uh, now uh, this is a site number. It is given by the government. Like if this is your site, we are giving a survey number to that. So it's written site number 31. And now they have planned in this much area, we are going to do the construction. Okay. Whenever we do the construction, it's, it's not that the complete a plot, we are going to do the construction. We are going to leave certain setback distance so that you can have a proper movement of your vehicle or maybe you can do a proper movement around your house. Okay. So that is why we have done a construction here. And this space, this, this, and this is a setback distance what I have. Now you see this is a proposed construction of ground floor and first floor in the site number 32. And here you are going to do the parking of a vehicle, right? This much is understood. Chalo. Yeah. So this particular thing is site number 31. This is site number 21. This is site number 33. And with you are going to do the construction, that is your site number 32. Okay. Chalo. Now here what is written, you are going to get everything here. Like uh, what is a proposed ground floor? What is a proposed first floor? What is the total built up area? That is how much built up area you're going to do. And then all these things are the certain uh, uh, requirement by the municipality department and all those things. Okay. So the total area, what we have in the ground floor is 74.03 square meter. And your proposed first floor is also 74.03 meter. If you add together, you are going to get 148.06 square meter is the total area. If you want to put this in square feet, it's very simple. We know that one square meter equal to 10.73 square feet. It's very simple calculation. We are, sub, we are going to do square feet. Now, what is the square meter we have got? It is yeah. square meter. Yeah. How much we have got 148.06 square meter. So if I want to put this in square feet, what I'm supposed to do 148.06 into 10.76. Try to do it manually so that we can convert this into square feet. So 148.06 into 10.76. So it comes out to be 1593.12 square feet. So this is the total built up area what we have, including your ground floor and the first floor. Got it? Chalo. Fine. So with this understanding, we'll move forward. And then here they have written, like all the dimensions are in meter. For this particular building, all the dimensions are in meter. That is good. And then here they are going to tell, like who is a... Uh, where the building is being constructed, in which area and all. So it's written proposed construction of ground and first floor residential building in site number 32 and survey number four, Khata number. It's a government department what they give and it is given here uh, for, to whom it belongs and in which place. Okay. So these are the basic requirement whenever you do any uh, planning. And then you're supposed to mention this thing that is uh, the schedule of opening. Like what is the size of your door? What is the size of your windows and all? Okay. So it's written here doors. MD stands for main door. The entrance door, what you put at your home, it's called as main door, which is one meter by 2.10. This is one meter and the height is 2.10 meter. D is another name what they have given, which is 0 0.90 by 2.10. 
D1 is another name what they have given, which is 0 0.75 into 2.10. And then the uh, ventilator part and the windows they have given it here. Okay. This much is clear. Chalo. Now we'll get into the ground floor now. Yeah. So this is a proposed ground floor what I have. And now from here you are going, doing an entrance. Like you will enter here. It's a two number of scooter parking. You can two, uh, two scooter can be parked in this way. Okay. And then you're going to make a entrance from here. What is MD? MD is a main door. So we'll come from here. You have a small ver veranda portion here, which is 1.40 by 2.77. Always remember the first digit stand for the horizontal distance. And the second is for the vertical distance. Okay. And then you come here. It's an opening. Opening in the sense you don't have any door here. D in the sense, D, wherever they have written D, it means there is a door. MD stands for main door and O stands for opening. Opening in the sense you don't have any door, it remains open. Okay. That, that is why it is written O. And what is the distance of this? What is the distance from here to here? From here to here. So that we need to refer here. So it is mentioned here. If I go back, it is written openings O, which is 1.20 by 2.10. Got it? So that is what you mean by this O here. Yeah. So this is O. Okay. So once you come, once you come from the veranda portion, you are into the living hall. So this is your living hall. And then you have this uh, up, up in the sense you are going up from, this is a staircase what you have. And from the living, again, you have this opening here. You don't have any door. We are entering into a kitchen. And your size of a kitchen is uh, 3.45 meter by 2.41. And then you are entering into the bedroom, which is D. There is a door D here. And the dimension is mentioned over there. And this is your bathroom. G stands for general bathroom. General bathroom in the sense, it's a common bathroom. Anyone can use. It, it is not attached to any bedroom. So we call it as a common bathroom or a general bathroom. And they have a door here. That is D1. And then you come from here. You have another bedroom here. So this is a bedroom which is 3.31 by 2.77 and from here you have an attached bathroom. A bathroom in the sense attached bathroom. So this particular bathroom is attached to this bedroom. So hence it is called as attached bathroom and the size is 1.60 by 1.50 and you have a door here D1. Now one thing we need to understand uh, always your main door will be of a bigger size followed by your uh, room doors followed by your uh, bathroom doors. What I'm trying to tell this is a main door. Of course, the width will be of a width will be more. Now coming to this door, it's a bedroom door. I have a bedroom here. I'm making an entrance through the, through this door. So this door width will be larger. Okay. Uh, in comparison to the main door, it will be smaller. And in comparison to this, this is this D1 stand for your bathroom door. Again, you can see here D1 stand for your bathroom door. Again, the bathroom door width will be less in comparison to your uh, room doors. Okay. So to put it in a better way. We'll come here quickly. See it here. Your MD is 1 meter. Your D is how much? 0 0.90 meter. And your D1 is 0 0.75. So that is that is the typical trend what we follow when we plan any building. Because if you're entering into a bathroom, only one person will enter, right? It's not that two, three people are coming at once. But if it is a uh, your bedroom and all, there may be chances two people may enter at one same time. Or maybe you require a little larger space to move to make your furniture movements and all. So that is why we increase the uh, breadth of your uh, door for the bathroom, uh, for the bedroom. And for the bathroom, it's a small distance. So you can clearly see it here. D1 is 0 0.75 and D is 0 0.90. Whereas the height remains the same. Height, we are going to uh, keep it same for main door, uh, for the bedroom and also for the uh, a bathroom so you can see 2.10 2.10 and 2.10 okay yeah great so i think most of the things i've covered it here along with that this is window you have a staircase here but beneath the staircase you have this window okay similarly you have a kitchen here and you have put a window here kw stand for kitchen window similarly you have a bedroom here you have put a window here and this is w that is a window again in the same way here you have a bedroom you have put a window here and the name is w what is the size of a window? You have to come back here and it is mentioned here. W stands for window, which is 1.80 by 1.35. And wherever W1 is written, it is 1.20 by 1.35. So I think everywhere it is W, maybe in one place it is W1. So we'll search where, where exactly that W1 is written. Okay, kitchen window. Every, okay, everywhere it is a window there. No issues with that. Okay, W, this is main door. Uh, window and all and then you can see here in the bathroom portion you don't give a window 
we put a ventilator right if we are not putting a window in the bathroom we are going to put a ventilator it's a small opening what we provide you can see it here ventilator and ventilator and then uh, what is the size of a ventilator it is mentioned here your ventilator will be 0 0.75 by 0 0.6 this is a typical uh, uh, size what we try to give got it so i hope you have understood the concept up to here we have uh, understood about the ground floor in the next lecture uh, we'll try to see about the proposed first floor plan and also the sections and the elevations part so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you